Well, hey guys, and welcome to my morning garden. I'm out here picking peppers and harvesting herbs, and I've got something really fun for you today. We're going to take a dive into the past and open up what I call the Vauder Vault. Those of you here in Oklahoma City may know that for about the past 15 years, I've done a gardening segment on News Channel 4, our local NBC affiliate here in Oklahoma City. And in the past, I did it with my buddy, Linda Cavanaugh, an anchor legend here in this area. And we had so much fun. So in these two segments, we're working in the garden. We're harvesting herbs to bring them inside to dry and also freeze some basil. So there'll be some kind of fun tips for you. Um, I'll be doing that while the neighbors behind me are getting their house painted. I hope you guys find this fun on uh, LVTV. We're going to put a lot more of these episodes up. A flashback in time so that you can see my landscape and my gardens, what they looked like as many as 15 years ago, and how they've changed over time. And please be kind um, because we aged right along with the garden. So I hope you'll have fun with this. It was fun for me to find them. They were just on an old CD that I found in my uh, in the drawer in my desk. It was a really uh, a fun find. So I hope you enjoy them as well. If you do and if you want to find out more, you can subscribe to LVTV. I'll put a link below. Join us. We're having all sorts of fun on our private um, Facebook group and every day I send out a little newsletter with um, a little tip. So anyhow, let's rewind the clock, Stuart. Let's go back in time, and here we are way back when. The bounties of your garden can be good throughout the winter, if you know what to do with it, Linda Vonner. You know, most gardeners that I know really love to cook. Uh -huh. Are you a cook, Linda? Oh, I let my, my husband's the cook. <laughs> well, I have lots of herbs still out in my, in my garden that are handling the cold temperatures really well. Mm -hmm. And so I still had the luxury of being able to cut huge bouquets of them and bring them into my kitchen to use them either fresh or dried. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, this is rosemary. All right. Um, it tastes wonderful with pork, Ooh, chicken, it still. Mm -hmm. but it is a very strong herb, so you want to use it sparingly. Um, to dry it, all you have to do is just put it in some kind of container with no water. It will dry, and then when it gets crispy, all you have to do is just break up the rosemary flakes. Oh, and, so easy. Yeah, so easy, and put okay. it in some kind of container. I could do that. This is that lovely Italian parsley. Mm. Um, fresh. You can make tabbouleh with it. You can garnish Ooh, yeah. soups and Smells stews. Great. If you want to dry it, what I like to do is put it on a baking sheet on top of parchment paper, mm -hmm. a very, very low heat oven, okay. and then let it dry. Keep checking on it periodically because all ovens are different. And then when it gets dry and crispy, take it out, and then again, just break up the leaves and put it in some kind of airtight container. Ziploc bag or anything? Ziploc bag, um, okay. a little metal container would be Ooh, fine. Ooh, these peppers, I love those. Um, my family loves really hot foods. Yeah? And red pepper flakes are a key ingredient. So with these, again, you don't have to put them in any kind of water. You can just remove, aren't they beautiful? Oh gosh, they're so pretty. You can just remove the peppers, let them shrivel up and dry, and then Again, you just break open the skin on the outside and you'll see. After they're dry. After they're dry, yeah. you'll see the little seeds. Yeah. And, you know, top your pizza with that or some kind of pasta, and it's really wonderful. Um, but these are some ways that you can use the herbs when you're in the mood to cook and not garden anymore, and you can continue to enjoy the bounty from your garden into the wintertime. How can you beat a deal like that? Another of Linda Vodder's frequently asked questions, when you have beautiful basil, how do you keep it through the winter? Well, because when you try to save it fresh, it, it goes black on you, and there's mm -hmm. just not any way to, to freeze it and maintain that beautiful freshness. So here is a very simple recipe that we can use to do that. You just take the fresh basil out of your garden. Take the fresh basil out of the garden. Wash it. Wash it off. Okay. Now, I've already washed this, uh -huh. and it's been dried, and we're just gonna take the leaves, and we're going to put them in the food processor. You put the stems in too? No. Uh, I try not to. And, I, and you could put the flowers in, but sometimes that makes it a little too potent for me. Okay. So the recipe, the basic recipe is about two cups of fresh basil leaves mm -hmm. to half of a cup 
of a good quality extra virgin olive oil. Don't you love the way this smells? It, mm. I mean, it's, it really Beautiful. is so evocative of summer, I think. And, you know, another reason, we don't want to waste any of it if we can avoid it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll put in... And how much olive oil do you need? Let's do about half of a cup. Okay. Or a quarter cup, excuse me. Half of a cup would be a double recipe. Okay, there's a quarter okay. of a cup. Okay. Two Hold cups of basil. Just a Is that second. what you're telling yeah, me? Yeah, two cups of basil. And a quarter cup. a quarter cup. cup of a good quality olive oil. And then, Linda, as I puree this, if you will slowly drizzle in that olive oil. Okay, I can do that. Okay, ready? You're doing it just right, Linda, okay? Because what we want to do is fill up this bag, and then we're going to freeze it flat. Okay. Then, when we're ready to use it, all we have to do is open the bag. We can cut off a slice. We can put it in our soup and our stew and our salad dressing, slip it back into the freezer. It won't brown. It will stay fresh, and we can salvage a little bit of summertime and enjoy it in the winter. Wonderful idea.